Hey beer drinkers, it's been a couple weeks and I have all these amazing ideas in my head of videos I want to do for you guys, but as you might be able to tell from my voice, I have been sick, but I still wanted to do a video for you and hopefully I can get through this without some crazy coughing fit. But I thought that this week I would talk to you a little bit about how I fell in love with craft beer. So I'm going to enjoy me a little Sierra Nevada pale ale here while I tell you the story of how I fell in love with beer. It started back in college. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, beer's not good for a cough. I have to say that I've only been into beer for maybe about four years now. Um, back in college, we really didn't drink a lot of beer. I went to UC Davis and it's really close to Napa and UC Davis is pretty much the viticulture school so you pretty much drink wine and you don't go beer tasting, you go wine tasting. So in college, you know, everything was definitely all about learning about wine. But I do have to say that very early on I learned that I really liked Sierra Nevada. It was always on tap at the bars in town. It was the only beer I really liked. I think it was probably a good sign even back then that I was going to be really into craft beer because, you know, Sierra Nevada is a pretty strong tasting beer. A girl never forgets her first beer love and Sierra Nevada is definitely my first beer love. Mm, the memories. I loved Sierra Nevada so much as a college student that on my 22nd birthday, I drank so much Sierra Nevada that I ended up crashing Journey Karaoke. Some two guys were up there singing Don't Stop Believing and I just ran right up there and took the mic from them and started singing along. But in my defense, it was my birthday and I was wearing a Journey t-shirt. So I think if you wear a Journey t-shirt to karaoke, you have every right to crash the stage and sing Journey with them. So, you know, thanks Sierra Nevada. It's definitely not a birthday that me and my friends have ever forgotten. You know, about a year later I moved to San Diego and you know, I had no idea that I was moving to a place that was pretty much on the cusp of an incredible craft beer, you know, awakening. Um, you know, there are quite a few breweries already open at the time, but, you know, since I've moved here, it's just exploded. It's a great place to be a beer lover. When I first moved down here, again, I was still into wine. I even went to Temecula, even though their wine is, you know, eh. why drink mediocre wine when you can have amazing world-class beer? but I didn't know that at the time. My roommate and I discovered a little uh, restaurant called Carl Strauss, but it wasn't just a restaurant, it was actually a brewery. And it was one of the first main breweries down here in San Diego. We started trying the beer there and we were like, hey, this is pretty good. Their Wind and Sea Wheat is still one of my favorite Hefeweizens that I've ever had. It's very good if you can ever find it. So, you know, I started to experiment a little bit and started getting away from wine. But the major thing that sold me was my boyfriend and I went to BevMo on New Year's Eve because we needed to get some champagne like everybody needs on New Year's Eve and they were having a beer tasting inside the BevMo where they were trying to get rid of a bunch of their seasonal Christmas beers and so they were letting people taste them and you know we're selling them at a discounted price and my boyfriend and I didn't have anything else to do so we're like sure we'll come to your your beer tasting it was just in this little corner sectioned off from the rest of the store and the guy in there was by himself and looked really bored so we're like yeah whatever so we went in there and we tried six different types of beer and they were all great. And we learned that, you know, a few of them were actually from San Diego and it really piqued my interest to really go out there and discover all the different kinds of beer that were available to us. Um, and even Bedmo has an awesome selection, but since then, you know, I've gotten used to going to a little bit more specialty shops, but 
I still go to bed in that time to time because they were the ones that started it all. So my beer love story really isn't that exciting, but it's my story. It matters to me because it gave me something that I really enjoy. I would actually love to hear your stories about how you discovered the whole craft beer world and what made you get into it in the first place. So if you guys want to throw in your own uh, stories in the comments, I would love to hear them and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. We have Comic Con coming up and there's actually going to be some pretty sweet geeky beer events coming along with that. So I'm really excited to kind of talk about that in the future. Just a closing note, you guys might notice that this video looks a little bit different, which is because I've actually ditched the cheap webcam that came with my laptop for filming and I'm filming this on my Canon. So I think the sound's probably going to be a little off because of the distance. I haven't figured that part out yet, but the video should be better quality. So yay, moving up. I'll see you soon guys. Cheers. Keep drinking your beer.